Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. This is Engineers on a Budget and my name is Sam and this video we are going to go ahead and do uh, condensing of our sinking funds. We're going to go ahead and put some placeholders in. We're going to take money back to the bank. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, so if you haven't seen my last few videos, we've been doing a lot in this binder and the next binder, um, but I did want to go ahead and at least for April finish off with a nice sinking fund um, video or a sinking fund consolidation video. Um, we're going to come back, maybe we'll come back to rollover, I don't even know how much rollover has. Maybe we won't come back to rollover. Um, anyway, so cars, we are going to be taking money back to the bank. And I'm very excited about this. Okay, so I'm going to be taking notes off screen um, just so that we doesn't get so busy here. So for, ooh, oopsies. Okay, so for maintenance, we have hit our thousand dollar mark. Um, so we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, seventy, ninety, one thousand. So let me grab a thousand one k slip, and then we will put this in here. And we are taking five hundred to the bank. Emergency is already fully funded with $2,000 in savings. Insurance is has $200, so that one is fine. Deductible has $1,000 fully funded um, sitting in savings. And then miscellaneous, I think we hit the thousand here too. So we have five, six, seven, eight, eight, fifty, nine, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, five, one thousand. So let me grab a 1K slip and put that here. And so now we have 1, 2, 3, 54, 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 500 going back to the bank. And I am very excited to get this money out of the house. All right, so look how much thinner that is. Okay, for clothing, I think we have one, two, three, four, fifty, seventy, ninety, five. Yep, so this is five hundred. So I'm gonna put all these here. I'm going to tell the children to stop growing so that we can keep the five hundred in the bank. Does anybody else tell their children, all right, you need to like slow down, stop growing. Your expensive clothes are expensive. No, just me. Okay. For gifts, we have one, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60, 85. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take all of this to the bank because we finished our um, shopping for Mother's Day. Um, for Father's Day, I'll just use a separate envelope um, I'll use the dad envelope for that one. So $500 for gifts, and we'll use this for things like birthdays or anything like that. I think holidays also has 500, and it's really nice because that is our cap, I think, for gifts. Yep, so gifts and holidays, one, two, three, four, 50, 70, 95. All right, so let me grab a 500. And holidays is fully funded. Um, kids extras, so we have 500 in the bank. We have one, two, 50, 70, five, 80. So let me see if I can get a nicer 50. And then I'm gonna change these two fives out for a 10. Ooh. These tens have seen better days. Okay. 
Now I have 1, 2, 50, 70, 80, and kids. And in pets, we have, let's see, 1, 2,000 in the bank for emergencies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5, 5, 10. So let's go ahead and swap those out for a 10. Um, I'm going to leave the 500 in here because I am taking them to doggy daycare, so I'm going to need to pay for that. Um, yeah. So we're going to leave that. I would love to take it to the bank, but it's not going to happen this time. And then for school, I think we have 500. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 70, 90, 500. So that is a, like the third envelope that we have fully funded. And this is going to be for next school year, which is really nice. So I don't have to worry about getting ready or saving more money for that. Um, subscriptions has, I think, 1,500. Yep, yeah, so we have 1,500 in the bank. And this binder is so much smaller. That is amazing. All right, so the next one is our um, kind of date driven. So kiddo one, kiddo two birthdays. So we have 500 in the bank, one, two, three, 54. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these down for another 100. So we have 1400 for kiddo one. And then next month will be another, oh, not 1400, sorry. We have 900 for kiddo one. Next month will be another $100, and so we'll be able to take that to the bank, and that'll be $1,000, and we're almost to Kiddo One's birthday. Kiddo Two has five, six, 57. That's a really cool 50. Um, so here we go. So we have 700, 700 for Kiddo Two. And then for Dad, so Dad I'll use for Father's Day and my husband's birthday. So I have 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 45, 50. So let's go ahead and grab a 50. So 350. It's going to be so nice to put this all in the bank. Because I'm pretty sure my bank, every time I pull money out, is like, um, excuse me, what are you doing? So, all right, so we have $500 in the bank for Christmas. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 700. Um, Man, there's a lot of nice cool hundreds. We'll do one, two, three, four, five hundred. Five hundred. Then we get a five hundred dollar slip. And since we have two five hundred dollar slips, let me get a one thousand dollar slip. And I apologize for the noise. My son is playing a video game with his friends. So we have one thousand one hundred and two hundred halfway to our Christmas goal. And then for travel, I have one, two, three, four, five hundred. So let's go ahead and put this here and we will grab a five hundred dollar slip and put this into here. So let's see. Okay. So we're not worried about those things. Um, I did want to go back to my rollover. I think, because I think I have some money in spending. So let's just check really quick. All right, so we have $40 for family fun. I still need to make an envelope for it. Um, and then I spent a lot of the money on food, so we have $35 here. Home doesn't have anything. Spending has 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. So let's do this for a 20. So now we still have 45 and then miscellaneous is fine. And sorry about that, my dog, my dog. All right, so let's go ahead and count how much we are putting into savings. It's a lot. Okay, so I have itty bitty hands, so we're going to do this into 
two groups. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three thousand. One, fifty, two, fifty. Three, fifty, four, fifty, five, fifty. You know what? I'm gonna put this fifty to the side, so let's count that again. One, fifty, two, fifty, three, fifty, four, fifty, five hundred, twenty. Let me put this down. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-six. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-seven. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-eight. Twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety-nine. 50, 5, 65, 75, 85, 95, 1,000. So we are taking $4,000 to the bank. Um, please let me know if I did that wrong. Um, I'm sure the bank teller will let me know if I did that wrong as well. But yeah, I'm excited to put $4,000 in the bank so I don't have to have it in my house. Um, and I hope you really enjoyed this video. I love doing the condensing videos. It just I feel so on top of everything. And then I'll go spend the money and not to pull the money back out of the bank. But that's beside the point. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button and consider subscribing and joining us as we work on paying off the rest of our debt and setting ourselves up for financial success in the future. Until next time, be safe.